Hey guys, coming at you again with another video in my series on health and down with the sicknesses. Um, today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about Hashimoto's. I've had some people come to me and ask that I do a video on Hashimoto's. I wanted to start out by kind of telling you the things that I started noticing and um, when I was diagnosed and what I was told what I went through to get where I am now, it has been a roller coaster, and that is putting it mildly. Um, as I said before, I've heard everything from you need to see a psychiatrist to you can't be feeling that bad. Well, your numbers are good. Well, let me tell you, there's more to it than what most doctors will check. Um, if you are diagnosed with Hashimoto's autoimmune disorder, find a specialist because just a regular practice doctor is not going to go into the detail that a specialist is. Um, when I found out I was full-time school and college, I, was, I worked full-time, I went to the gym, I was a photographer. So I had a pretty busy, pretty hectic life. I stayed really busy. Um, I started to notice that I was feeling really sluggish. I was wanting to sleep a lot. At night, I did not feel rested at all when I got up the next morning. Um, I started gaining weight. So many different things. I started having headaches. I started... Um, my body started, I started having swelling in my knees, my ankles, just all around not feeling good at all. Um, my anxiety got worse, my depression got worse, um, and I was diagnosed, I had a doctor tell me, well, it's just your thyroid, it's just hypothyroidism, that causes that, it's no big deal, you just got to deal with it, basically. They basically told me to deal with it did not give me any hope of anything ever changing, of it ever getting better, of basically I was going to be this way the rest of my life and I was just going to have to deal with it. Well, being the person I am, that affected me on so many levels. Um, my life changed drastically. I had to quit college because I couldn't focus. I, um, my grades were dropping, so I was kind of wasting my time going to college. And I hated that because I always dreamt of going to college. Um, my photography, it got to where I couldn't put in the time that the customer deserved when it come to editing or when it come to actually doing the pictures. Um, just one session completely wore me out. Um, so, I quit college. I quit doing, I barely did my photography anymore. It. I wasn't going to the gym because I just did not have it in me to go to the gym. And I hurt so bad. So I was miserable. Well, eventually I ended up having to quit work. And that just felt like my life completely shut down. It was like I didn't have a life anymore. Um, I got to where I couldn't go out with friends. I could barely do stuff with my family. Um, so my life completely shut down, basically. So, I researched, I researched, I researched. I can't explain how much I researched because I was getting nothing from doctors. I had went to an endocrinologist, saw him once. He told me I had Hashimoto's um, where um, the normal doctors will take your TSH levels and I'm sorry I'm completely drawing a blank they check a couple different levels um, and he checked those but the only thing he did different is he checked 
my antibodies. And when he checked my antibodies, that proved to him that I had Hashimoto's. Well, he went on to tell me the chances of me having kids were very slim. But I called him back about two weeks later. Excuse me. He had altered my medicine just a little bit. And about two weeks later, I called him back and I told him my knees and my ankles still hurt so bad. I don't feel like I rest. I'm exhausted all the time. And you know what he said to me? You need to go see a regular doctor. This has nothing to do with your Hashimoto's. Well, at that time, I stopped going to him because I felt like I was getting the runaround whether I went to an endocrinologist, whether I went to a family practice doctor, no matter what I did, I was getting the runaround. So I started researching online. I bought the books to read. I read the books. The books would say one thing, the doctor would say another. I, sorry. When it comes to having something like this, you feel completely beat down because you get to a point to where, if you're in my case, I got to the point to where I was dealing with depression, I was dealing with anxiety, and no matter what I did, I couldn't get help. I could not get help. And no matter how many times I said something is not right, all I got was either you need to see a psychiatrist or everything should be fine. You, you're doing good. Your numbers are great. They never checked my antibodies again. So, on and off for, so sorry, yawning, sleepy, big part of it. So, I went on like this for four years. I researched, read the books, I talked to people, I joined groups on Facebook, found that people were dealing with the exact same stuff that I was dealing with, same runaround I was dealing with. And it is, in my opinion, beyond ridiculous that people that deal with things like this cannot get help. It's ridiculous. Um, four years with no life. And you get the runaround. That to me is pure crap. Absolutely pure crap. So, in my frustration, I, on and off, had heard about this place not far from where I live. Where they specialize in autoimmune disorders. So I thought, you know what, what have I got to lose? So I go to this place and they, they tell me, I told them what I had heard from doctors. I told them what I had been through and they told me, you know what, you're not crazy. You're not crazy. First person that said that to me. You're not crazy. They went on to test my antibodies, which for four years, no doctor has tested again. And I have seen several. A normal range for a person's antibodies when it comes to an autoimmune disease like Hashimoto's is zero to 34. Mine, 291. I'm not crazy. Neither are you. It is so heart-wrenching, the suffering that people like us deal with, and the doctors saying you're crazy. You need a psychiatrist. Nothing's wrong with you. Your numbers are good. 
Your medicine's fine. I can't raise or lower your medicine. It'll kill you. But they don't give you answers. Instead, they want to point you to the fact that you're crazy. They want to point you to the fact that you're really okay. You just don't think you are. So, I go to this doctor. They find that my Hashimoto's, my autoimmune disease, my antibodies are completely through the roof. So, you know what they do? They start me on what's called an autoimmune protocol diet. You'll see it as autoimmune paleo diet also. This particular diet, it starts from the ground up. So sorry. Anybody that has an autoimmune disease, nine times out of ten, you're going to have stomach problems. Hashimoto's can irritate your system to a point to where you end up with fibromyalgia, which I deal with, migraines, which I deal with, depression, anxiety, um, so many things, celiac disease. If this, if your Hashimoto's goes untreated, it's going to start affecting other areas of your body. That will make you feel crazy. That's when you feel crazy. When you're having migraines. When you're so lost that you're caught up in anxiety. You're caught up in depression. You're dealing with why, why does everybody think I'm nuts? When I know myself, I know my body, I know something's wrong. So, they went on to get me started on the autoimmune protocol diet, which I've been on for going on two weeks. I am feeling a little bit better. My sleep pattern has gotten better. I still have very sluggish days. I still have swelling in my knees and my ankles. I still have pain. The only difference is now, I actually have hope. Never had hope. Ever. If with Hashimoto's, there are so many symptoms that you can be affected with. Everything from weight gain, check. Fatigue, paleness, puffiness in your face, as you can see. Joint and muscle pain, constipation, inability to get warm, to where with me, I burn up all the time. Some people do burn up all the time. Some people freeze. Um, difficulty getting pregnant, um, hair loss or thinning, brittle hair. I have lost, my hair is so much thinner than it used to be. I used to have super thick hair. It does not grow like it used to. Um, irregular or heavy periods, depression, slowed heart rate, which with me I do have um, a rapid heart rate at times. Um, another thing that I do find interesting is that women are seven times, seven times more likely to end up with Hashimoto's than men. Does not say that that is all the time, but seven times, that's a lot. So, I am dealing. I'm dealing. It is getting a little better. Um, they did tell me that this is not a cure. 
I will always have flare-ups. I'll always have sluggish days. I won't have the energy level that other people do. Hashimoto's is, it's a lifelong thing. It, um, hypothyroidism, I should say, is a lifelong thing. You're going to be on medicine the rest of your life. Whether you, your thyroid gets taken out or not, you're going to be on medicine the rest of your life. you got to take care of yourself. And if the autoimmune protocol diet is any way, a way that I can take care of myself, I'm willing to do it. Now, granted, there are lots of foods that you have to cut out. I do definitely urge you to check out this diet. Um, I do have also a couple websites that I'm going to list down below. A couple links that um, my current doctor has given me. They said that they are very good websites when it comes to Hashimoto's. Um, very informative websites. So I will link those down below. Um, and I will also list the AIP diet down below. Um, and I urge everybody to not give up. Don't give up. Um, you're not alone. If you are having problems, if you have questions, please feel feel free to reach out to me. I'm more than happy to talk to you. Sorry, my, my cat wants to be in the video. I'm more than happy to talk to you, um, tell you a little bit about what I've learned. If you want another video with even more information on Hashimoto's, definitely hit me up. That's a little bit. She wants to be in the video. Sorry. Um, but hit me up. Um, definitely, if you will, give me some love. Hit that subscribe button. Um, keep up with my new series on health and down with the sicknesses. And I'm going to talk about a few different illnesses and then um, do some more updates on different things that I'm dealing with too. So, Give me a like, give me some comments, and guys, don't give up. Don't give up. We we got to stick together. We got to fight this together because we're not crazy. We're not crazy, and we're going to figure this out. So thank you for joining me, guys, and as always, have a fabulous day. Have a fabulous rest of the week, and I'll talk to you again soon. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.